So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, we're at the here, so we, um, I just got watching the second episode of Stargirl, which is called Stripes, and it takes place right after the first episode, with, um, Pat yelling at, um, at Courtney to get, to, um, get on the, her, his robot, and, so they can take him back to where, back to his shed, since, and she she and trade her wound that she got, and explain to her um, the hunter the hunter backstory and every thing of what's going on, and explain to her who brain brain rape is, since that's who she just fought, and tell her you're stay, you're not gonna get involved in this because you're only 15. I finally learned how old she is because he mentioned it in this episode. And she he doesn't want her to get involved, even though she's the same age that her uh, Starman was. And she's like, that she's like, you know, typical parents saying that's the difference, yada yada yada. And and um, he also in a brain rape also questions his son again about Courtney, but still he can't he really can't get anything out of him. So. He ends up hearing about, uh, they both go to work and school the next day. Um, Courtney sits with him, her, her friends again. And, and one of her friends, who I think ends up being, um, it's not Black Cat, because I'm the one who's um, telling her, don't stare at me, loser. Uh, 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 I mean, Wildcats is, um, is the one that, is that one. I think... Well, I don't know about. I told you, not, I, I'm still learning about this character, so by getting them wrong, don't kill me. I'm just learning as much as you are. But she was talking to her parents on the computer while they were having lunch, and apparently her mom works with um, Brainwave at the hospital, and he overhears the fact that they're having an open house that night. And he usually he doesn't go, so he ends up going with his son to find out if he can find where Courtney is, because he has a picture that he ends up showing um, earlier to um, the magician because in uh, the uh, middle of the night. And he also talked to Jordan, which was Icicle, and apparently um, Courtney's mom, Barbara, works with one of the Injustice Society, or just a, or just a league, whatever they're called, um, which is the mayor. I'm thinking his name is Steve. Um, I'm not sure which one he is, but we also get to see um, Grundy, and he's in a cage um, that we get to see at the end of the episode. And so we got um, like uh, four, no five, five of the bad guys that we've seen so far. So yeah, and while this is going on, Stripe, um, Pat is like learning how to use the robot and he's also working out and while this is going on, there's the song from the uh, Karate Kid, you're the best around. Nobody's ever gonna get you down. It's playing the background. Trying to play in that 80s nostalgia again, and um, they both all all of them go to the open house, and I think we also have um the girl the popular girl has to be one of the parents has to be one of the kids 
of one of the bad guys too. Otherwise, they would not be focusing so much on her, and would not make her look so much like, you know, so much. And um, eventually, they end up like walking, and the principal has to be somebody too, because the fact that they keep on pointing out um, her son. So we might have um, two more villains to think of right there. So yeah. And eventually Courtney walks into a hallway um, by herself when um, Brainwave comes up to her and tells her friends to kill her her mom by making it look like a stroke and make it be very painful. And she does not bring the cosmic staff back to the school at midnight. And she goes and tells Pat this. And Pat tells her, you stay here, and and if I don't come back, kick your mom and Mike out of out of Blue Valley and never come back. That took a little stuff. And he takes the the stri takes striped robot to fight um, Brainwave. He does, it doesn't go out so well, and also um, Courtney sewed up um, her own costume together in the um, sewing room at the school, and pretty much broke all of all the sewing machines that she made because so she was trying to remake um the starman's costume to fit her instead so and i guess that the fabric of that costume is very hard to um re re it or whatever and that's why um all the sewing machines broke and she's not going to tell anybody she's just going to walk out of there do the edu and she ends up coming there with, um, coming there to help Pat and with her new costume saying she's Star Girl and this is my sidekick but she has a star name from yet and she okay she is still a little rusty if this was good that she should not get um right into it like that right away because she did struggle with against him even though she eventually ended up getting brainwave surgery but uh, a Caesar but um basically but she like jumped right onto it like she already knows how to fly with it but fighting with it is a different matter I didn't think she just got lucky with it that the fact she beat him because she was able she was like holding him down she was, she was he was holding her down with a, a car part and um Pat was being crushed by a bunch of cars, so, and he got distracted by by um, Pat turning on a light on on the robot, and that's when um, she was able to reach for the staff and hit him in the head where he um, um, got this like his brain got dislocated and made it look like he had a seizure, and they just took him to the hospital, and, and yeah, so he's down for the count. And this is when Jordan um, comes to town, high school, and he meets um, underground um, area. He meets with um, the mayor named Steve, which we do not, I do not know which one it is. You want to tell me, go right ahead. And Grundy's also down there. So, so we know that at least six bad guys already are in that town waiting for Pat and waiting for um, Star Girl and Stripe, and because um, Court, um, Pat is finally accepting the fact that maybe Starman is Courtney's dad, and since he's still not comfortable with her being here and her not her being a staff, but he's he, he's I guess he's starting to starting to start to cooperate working with her, and he because he allows her to come with a name for him, and. And so he went, went from Stripey to Stripe, and he she even came in with a, um, an acronym for um, Stripe. So it was like um, some it was like some weird thing that she just came off the top of her head. <laughs> so yeah, and so uh, it was a pretty good episode. Um, it, if you ask me, these two were like. Come if you watch the first two episodes together, it'd be really good. It's kind of like um part because like part two is like episode part is episode two is like a part two episode one. 
to the fact that they, she discovers your brain from discovers your brain rape is in the first episode, and she beats brain rape in the next episode. So we'll find out who she beats next, and later on if she beats any more of them, or if she find or if she discovers that the people she's been sitting with are also children of the JSA, like her. And yeah, so I'm gonna give this episode a um. Um, 10 out of 10. Sorry. What are you at, Sully? I gave it up for pause. Give my tail. I'll see you guys later. Bye.